Hey guys, I'm Janet on occasion, and today we are carrying on with our Skullbrand campaign, and I thought we'd start on the lovely beaches of Norska. A lovely holiday destination for all. Um, we're going to build all the things, because we have a load of money. Uh, so it was all the things. All the things we are building. All of them. Yep, even that. All the things. Good. Uh, and, ooh, yeah, Palace of Ruin. Yeah, you can get leveled up too. Ooh, every, everybody gets it. Everybody gets an upgrade. Also, we are getting the uh, uh, Machina Demonium, or the Machina, Machina Demonium, whatever. Anyway, it, we're building it. Uh, who speaks Latin anymore? Come on. So, uh, yeah, that's great. That minus 30% upkeep is really going to help us out. I mean, right now we are completely skinned, but I think that might change. Uh, oh, that's a bit of a pity. I would quite like to do the big one, though I could do two little ones. Ooh. You know what? Two little ones. That way we can put walls in two places. Or, you know, a garrison in two places. You know what I mean. Uh, okay. And now we've run out of money. We've run out of money. I was... Mm. And I could have done that, which would have been better, probably. Okay, let's get rid of that. And let's go back this way. I'm not going to do that one either. Sorry. Sorry, team. You don't You don't get the all, all the upgrades. I'm sorry. Infernius needs upgrading. There we go. I want to get my home base to tier 5, okay? I want access to all the prettiest, prettiest of toys. Also, the fact that we're only on turn 34 and we're really kind of crushing this, you know? It's kind of, kind of good. Kind of good. I'm, I'm happy about it. And yes, we will do the, the, uh, what's it called? The, the Slaughtering Carnage? That's the ones, right? I, I'm drawing a blank. I mean, I could just click on it. That works. Slaughtering Carnage. Brilliant. So yeah, Slaughter and Carnage. Um, we will get them eventually, but again, our army hasn't actually changed all that much. I want some more anti-large, and not just the Flesh Hounds. The Flesh Hounds are a bit flimsy. Although, it is nice that we got uh, anti-large on them through technology. I really do enjoy that. But uh, yeah, we'll get more weapons, and, and yeah, we'll be, we'll be ready for that quest battle soon. Um, okay, so I think we're actually done. Yeah, we're done for the turn. Oh, Commandment available. Oh, damn, we got... yeah, okay. Uh, foster cults. The problem is, this guy may well take over Bay of Blades or something, because, uh, like, he doesn't need anything, because we don't have any garrisons, but I'm willing to risk it. I'm willing to risk trying to build what I can. There's one turn, and he's not going to be able to attack anything. And Doom Harvest is still chasing him, and these guys, uh, are going to be without a home soon, if these guys can get on top. So we got, we got plans in motion. We're ignoring all of the rifts, because I, uh, I have no real decent way of dealing with them. Except, I guess, these armies that I have, but... Yeah, I want to get rid of the factions that live nearby. Because if the demons attack a place and it gets burnt to the ground, then it's just going to get repopulated by me anyway. Unless there are other factions around, in which case it'll get repopulated by them, and then I have a problem. So, you know. Plans. Alright, Galactica has decided to attack me. And uh, while while there are a bunch of dragon ogres, and that's all very scary, um, I think we might actually do okay with the flesh hounds against them, because they have the most armor. So I think, uh, yeah, just sheer numbers, and then anti-large there, and uh, we should do okay, maybe, possibly. I mean, they've got anti-large too, and these are actually large, and they're in better condition than we are. It, whatever. It's a whole thing. It's a whole thing that we're just going to auto-resolve, because... Oh, that is quite an interesting army, isn't it? And I do enjoy the corn maps. Okay, we're going to fight it. And I love the maps. The corn maps are so cool. So cool. Uh, I mean, I'm just going to lock the entire group and hit go. Go get them, boys. Go get them. And you go attack the Lord. Although, actually, I think you should probably attack um, the Shaggoth instead. Probably safer. Going head-to-head -head with him like this is probably a mistake. I can't wait. <laughs> and, wow, I actually managed to get all the cavalry there. Perfect. Don't like the spearmen. Spearmen are a problem. This is all anti-large, this army. It's ridiculous. Except that guy. Except that guy. Go on. Rage. Rage bomb on him. It's a good rage bomb. We're out of you. Nice. That's a little bit messy, but... Ooh. Ooh, that, oh, that's even better. Yeah, that means we've got uh, 1,900 damage now. I'll take it. Alright, come on, boys. 
wow, we've almost killed that Shaggoth. That's a Dragon Ogre Shaggoth, guys. And yet it's nearly dead. That's so good. The Shaggoth towered over the common man, casting fearsome shadows matched only by the seismic devastation they cause. You know, unless they get bullied by an angry red boy. Oh, we got these. Let's, let's throw them out too. Good. Alright, in you get, lads. In you get. Go on, oceans of blood. Go run. Go frolic through the oceans of blood. Some good frolicking, boys. Okay, for a second there, he was actually out of combat, amazingly. Just for a second, though. Oops. There we go. Uh, yep, you guys carry on with that. Uh, one of you can chase off that shag. So there is actually a bit of a fence here. There is actually a bit of a fence. So this is a little bit iffy for us here. But it should be okay, because we have these guys on the way. Which I think should probably do the job. I'd imagine, I'd imagine we're probably going to get the job done here. Go on, just run through run through the rivers of blood, hunt that man into space. Well done, Scarbrand. I do love that attack animation. It's so good. Like, it, it's such good characterization for Scarbrand. The fact that he's happy just to, like, hunt someone. Like, he just, he just sees stuff as so insignificant compared to him that he doesn't even use his weapons. He'll just, he'll just punt someone. You know, like 50 feet. <laughs> Like, there's sport in the kill, you know? Not bad. Not bad. Got a few bits and bobs. Uh, we're going to go with the replenishment every time here, because currently we have the plague. So... Got shield of Dolos. That's fine. Rampage is standard. That's fine too. Ask and you shall receive. Oh, that's how we got the standard. Interesting. A Norse marauder in your legion loudly demands demonic power in reward for his service. Upon his eighth such pros uh, protest pro protestation, like, it's, it's just, it, you can say it, you can say, just say the word. All right, I'll do it, thank you. There follows the sounds of cracking bone and liquefying flesh. Where he once stood gleams a gift from corn, imbued with dark power. It emits a distant but constant scream. Sounds fun. Should be a bit of a giggle, that. Uh, oh. Oh, okay, he decided to run away again. Perfect. Uh, in that case, let's get all of these built. Or two of them. That's... Two is... Two is plenty, right? Oh, no, they ran back. That's a shame. Alright, well, you run that way. And you catch up. Boop. Oh, Skaven discovered? Who would have thunk it? Um, right, let's get the other guys in. Yeah, we, we sure did reveal him. Sure did. Uh, Perk victory, high casualties. Honestly, I'm fine with that. There's one more army that's mostly clan rats and stuff. Uh, I think with the savings we'll make from this army being destroyed, we'll more than make up for it by doing that. So, you know, I'm good. Uh, here's a new one. Hi. Hi there. And yep, income has remained the same. So that saved us some time. Uh... Well, uh, you can't move. Everyone else can. Where are the other Skaven, I wonder? I don't know where the other one went that was here. He might be in Ambush Stars nearby, but I can't imagine him ambushing. Somehow. I really have no idea. So I'll just stay there, see what happens. So, Ultra Spawns also has an upgrade we can get. That's nice. That we don't want in Ruins anymore. Uh, that I can put a Garrison on, which is very useful. Grayling Moot I'd rather not lose. Um, there are demons going to be spawning there soon. I can build that as well. Trollfjord, though, I think is, is going to be fine. Um, so there's other corruption forming, which is going to lose control a bit. But I think we can handle the rebel armies too, probably. I'm just assuming. I'm guessing. We may not. We may get wrecked, but that's fine too. Alright, up we go. City of Splinters. Honestly, I'm not sure what we're doing with this army. I don't really want to fight more of the corn guys, necessarily. Yeah, I'm going to keep going this way to see if we can't find Kairos. Um, I mean, more battles would be nice and everything, but... I mean, what am I thinking? Of course they'd be fine. But, I also want to expedite things. If I fight all of these, we're going to lose this before we can get anywhere where I'm, you know, 
trying to get to. It's a strategic choice. Although, we get there quicker if I do battles. Provided we win. Could I win and then spawn more armies to help? Probably. That probably would be quicker in the long run. Or in the short term, because it would be a shorter term because it would be quicker. You know what I mean. You're clever. Keep up. Uh, right. Destroy, slaughter. What should we go for? Harbingers of death? Uh, uh. Uh, I am actually very tempted to get harbingers of uh, har harbingers of death now because we're actually getting quite high level, <laughs> like real high level, real quickly, and I don't want to run out of um, skill points before I get the buffs that I want for our army. Because yeah, I don't, I don't think we're going to necessarily get those things. We're not getting any chaos warriors in this army. It's going to be a demon only army, I think. And uh, yeah, I want to get some of this stuff too. So, Blood Crushers, I want to upgrade. Um, that'll do Soul Grinders. I don't think we're going to bother with any of those units, actually. So, I want to get Rush to Slaughter and Overwhelming Stampede, because I want the Bloodthirsters and Minotaurs um, buffed there. And I want the Flesh Hounds and Blood Crushers buffed there. Alright, cool. So, Ekugax Karaxus. Uh, Gate of Corn I could put up again? No, I can't. I'm making him immortal. Nice. Well done, Rick. Well done. I'm proud of you. Uh, let's attack this jerk. He got the plague. <laughs> uh, idiot. Uh, I'm also a bit of an idiot. I probably couldn't have afforded that. But, uh, maybe I could have. Army receives... Oh my god, are you joking? Oh, I'm a double idiot. Okay, we just got the plague that we just got rid of because the guy that we gave it to, we just got it back from them. Oh dear. Oh dear. But hey, the Wrath Gate. There are challengers waiting for the Wrath Gate, eager to prove their worth and trigger the infinitesimally small chance that Mighty Corn will turn his head and gaze out from the Brass Citadel and notice them. Until that time, the weapon racks by the gates are fully stocked. Well, not so fully stocked anymore. We've, st we've stolen a chain sword, and we got replenishment for getting there, which is really good, very handy. Seeing as how we're still plague ridden, um, at the wielder's command, the teeth race down the blade, ripping apart armor and flesh as easily as if they were parchment. The beast hilt howls while it does so and whines if left unsated. I mean, it's just a chain sword. So it's hilarious. Um, I love it. At Twenty extra melee attack, which is significant. Hundred melee attack he's got now. Uh, extra 250 armor-piercing damage base, so all of those additional bonuses that we have. Um, so, you know, like the potion of strength and that ability he's got. Um, that's going to buff this damage too. And uh, the passive ability Chainsword puts his base weapon damage and armor-piercing weapon damage up to 300% bonus the more he fights. So the more kills we get, the... Um, yeah, the higher that's going to go. Which does mean that we kind of need to fight a bunch of chaff before we fight big things. But, you know, we'll see. So, uh, we'll keep it on Scalbrand for now. Well, like I said, we'll probably swap it out for Slaughter and Carnage. Because uh, they're good weapons too, you know. They're good weapons. Like, it gets to a point where you kind of get diminishing returns. If you're doing literally thousands of damage, regardless of whether you have the best weapon or not. Then, what's the difference? You know, what difference does it make? to get a few extra hundred um, when you could give someone else hundreds and hundreds, you know, get someone else doing over a thousand damage. May as well get everyone doing ludicrous amounts of damage rather than just all focus on one guy, you know, even if it is Garbrand. So, uh, there's Hard and also uh, a Madri Iron Bark. I find it interesting that due to this guy's stance, he seems to have brought his own uh, palisade and... Um, and, and grass and dirt patch. It's really rather impressive. I kind of feel like a portal opened and scooped up him and the land that he was stood in and just dumped them in Korn's realm. Because that is the thing. It does it does say in the sort of description for this realm that the random armies running around have basically just like been, been scooped up and made to fight here, you know? Which is kind of fun. But anyway... Uh, I think that's it for the turn. I think everything's been done. You know, best laid plans of infernal harpers and men. Um, what next? Maybe... 
Which one? Which one? Which one? Which one? Let's do Bay of Blades. Let's upgrade Bay of Blades. There we go. We're actually earning some money now, which is kind of weird to see. Alright, building upgrade available. I'm sure there's a few building upgrades available, but uh, we can't afford many. Alright, let's go ahead and get the War Amphitheater. <laughs> Great. Great Amphitheater. Amphitheater of War. Very silly. Very corn. I love it. I Okay, yeah, we can't afford anything else. I don't know why I'm cycling through more buildings. It's having my mind that, you know, there will be more to build. Oh, and he hadn't actually moved. I was going to chase him down, but... Um, I guess we'll try and close that portal with them. That's probably a good use of that guy. If he dies trying, then so be it, you know. It'll save us some money. We don't really need him, and he's going to run out of uh, oomph by the time we get him anywhere, so... Uh, okay, Gold Tooth just entered the Blood God's domain. That's a good excuse to kill um, uh, Greasus. So that's good. So we'll get to that. Brazen Throne got destroyed by by them, actually. Uh, War Tributes. Brilliant. Income for buildings plus 10%. Wow, that's really helped us out. Like, our income has shot up this turn. Wonderful. Let the bone bounty pour forth, for every harvested skull is a... a pain? Pain? P -p -p I, I have never seen that word before in my life. But it's it's one of them. To the glory of war and the immortal might of the murder god. And we found an ambusher, which is, you know, kind of cute. Refused. It's quite sweet. And uh, we did a mission, Unholy <laughs> Manifestations. <gasps> oh my god, we... Oh, that's technology, what am I doing? We unlocked another uh, doohickey. We have cooler battle now. Extra 50% movement range. Awesome. Love that. Love that a lot. Really nice. So, um, yeah, we don't need to read that. That's boring. Doesn't really say anything. A brutal business. Oh, extra 20 base weapon damage for everybody in the game. All factions, faction-wide. Very fun. Um, Battle is a blood-soaked affair. Limbs severed, bones exposed. Men left for dead in the cross-soaked fields among scores of fallen friends and enemies. Strong weapons forged with time, sweat, and expertise mark the difference between victory and defeat. A good sword cuts clean through bone, severing heads and limbs, where lesser weapons will merely maim. As instability grows across the world, so too does man's bloodlust and his desire for war and carnage on an ever grander scale. Sure does. Obsidian Lodestone as well for that. Whoops, no, I don't, no, get out of here. I don't care how unholy your manifestations are. You know, we were about to do this. That's wonderful. What are the chances? Although this is the second, third turn, I think the rifts have been here. Yeah, okay. Rather than using the rifts as ingress, close this gateway, lest the demons frenzied by the maelstrom burst forth and lay your domains to ruin. All right, you're the boss. Uh, hello, Theodoric Gausser. The hell are you doing here? Weird guy. Um, so easy. Brilliant. God, these, these low-level... Um, you know, these low-level demon rifts are a delight, actually. I really don't know what this guy's going to do. But, like, he could do quite well, potentially. We still, we still have this for five more turns, so just those two units of blood letters we can summon would, would kill most of these guys for us. So, yeah. Alright, um, let's upgrade the stuff anyway. Let's put, um, yeah, let's do the one that gives bonus replenishment, uh, not replenishment, bonus income. Ooh, we can upgrade that too. Marvelous. And Doom Key. Oh yeah, let's do that too, huh? Yeah, extra income from buildings and extra skulls. Ice Drake Fjord and Longship Graveyard can both be upgraded. Longship Graveyard it is. Also, we can build a three-headed scent hound. All kinds of fun toys now. Love it. Uh, okay, you head uh, to Doom Keep just to keep that guy away. We can always go close that rift in a second. I'm sure we can handle it. Um, this guy's coming no. in. He is coming for us. We don't know quite what his army's going to look like, though. Although, he's not losing anything. Hang on. He still has a settlement over there. I thought we destroyed all of his settlements. Oh, that's a pain. Well, okay. I guess we need to go over there now, then. With this nonsense. 
Oh, that is a pain. Yeah, this is going to be annoying. Okay, fine. Um, can we defeat him? Like, maybe? Okay, what we're going to do? What we're going to do? Right. I'm going to run over here with all my boys. Alright, all the, all the various doom folk. I'm going to attack him. This might end in horrible failure, but I'm going to auto-resolve. Yeah, so we're going to lose, but I'm going to auto-resolve, which should kill a bunch of his units or damage them enough that if he attacks any of my settlements, my garrison can kick the crap out of him. Right? So yeah, real injured. Real injured. And we got a bunch of skulls out of it. So that's nice. And now we are rolling in money. Sort of. We're sort of rolling in money. And now what I can do in the Tower of Flies... Okay, I can't quite afford it, but I can almost afford it. Uh, we can get a level 5 chap. Extra speed might be nice. We go with speed? I mean, I only get the choice of these three, so... I don't have that many options. Bludgeonous Slaughter sounds great, but aggressive is a better bonus. Like, just so much better. It really it really just seems that the generic traits are just so much better than the, the ones with more flavor. You know, the ones that are more specific to a faction. It's really quite strange. Like, the disparity. Because the fact that there's aggressive here and there's this one, which is just terrible. But, you know. I, I mean, I like the idea of there being some good traits, some bad traits, but I think the, the, like, the faction-specific ones should always be the best one out of the batch, right? You should always try and... You should be excited to get the ones that are going to be unique to your faction. But, yeah, with that, it's just... Just embarrassing. And speaking of embarrassing, do I get rid of the three-headed centaurs of the Bay of Blades? Uh, I mean, I don't really like the fact I've had to do that. But I've decided that I have had to have done that. Oh, do I wait till next turn? You know what? Screw it. I'm going to wait till next turn. I want this defended. So, yeah, next turn, we are going to recruit that new lord, and we're going to start training him up, and we're going to send him into Kislev. I mean, that could be quite interesting, just wipe, just, just destroy, you know, Kislev with, um, with, with armies that we've sailed down to them, you know, down to them with. That could be cool. So, uh, you also need to get things done. So, let's move you over here. And let's declare war on these jerks. And then we'll die immediately. Which I'm honestly fine with. Because, like, it dawned on me that if we do find Kairos Fate Weaver, then what the hell are we going to do? Like, this isn't that big an army. It really isn't. So, um, I'm going to auto-resolve. So we can just get some skulls and get our income up. So, how have you done? So, you did great. You did fantastically. Let's try again. <laughs> this time an even worse defeat, somehow. How strange. There we go. Doom Harvest is dead. And that is fine. Five grand per turn. That is really going to help us out. Uh, genuinely, that's going to help us out. I, I kind of wanted to reset with that. Because I do want a permanent army. Because I want something to give those weapons we're going to earn in Korn's Realm. And we are, we are making great time, frankly. We are making excellent time. So, you know, I'm fine with it. Uh, also, we have so many skulls now. We could actually take over a bunch of territory. So yeah, I think I will start taking over more territory in the Chaos Wastes with Corn. Not with corn. <laughs> Scarbrand. Uh, better breeding makes gore beast chariots better. Blood hosts. X returns the initial blood host attrition immunity, so they last longer. That's fun. Uh, extra 10% skulls from skull piles. Uh, relentless rage. Is that another army ability? Uh, makes units unbreakable and they can't die while it's active. So you get 20 seconds of, of uh, unkillable units, which is very cool. Extra units in the blood host. Extra speed for all units in Blood Hosts. Extra melee attack for all units in Blood Hosts. That's really cool because you can't level up your Blood Hosts. There are no skills you can get for your Lords or your Blood Hosts. Because they're not led by Lords. Uh, Killer's Trophy gives perfect vigor and unbreakable to someone. Uh, that could be really fun to give to like a, a, a Bloodthirster or something. God, there's some cool stuff here. Really cool stuff. And yeah, less attrition on the Blood Hosts as well. Uh, that's nice that we can summon more blood letters. I like that a lot. Yeah, we're going to do that one. We're going to do Sounds of War. God, there's so much stuff that's just, like, awesome. And I'd love to get some of the really advanced stuff, but I I do just want to be able to get more blood letters out. Uh, Slaughterous Pride, though, I think we'll probably get next. Because, yeah, army abilities are fun. 
you know? They help out literally every army, so... They are always useful. Uh, but yeah, what is what is this guy playing at? Seriously. Do I kamikaze him as well? I mean, you can't reach him, so I guess no. Um, <laughs> that answers that question. And we do have our unholy manifestation, so I could actually increase the distance which Scarbrand can go, at least enough to reach this jerk. So, actually, we're going to have fun with this. Call a battle. I mean, it'll be another 15 turns before we can do it again, and this isn't really gaining as much, but I'm going to do it anyway, because uh, we can. So I'm going to do it. So there you go. Alright. Murder indeed. Let's fight him. Hello, Amadri Ironbark, if that's your real name. Bet it's not. Bet it's... Uh, I bet it's, um... I don't know, what's a good, what's a good tree name? I'm sure I had a few of those. I mean, it's the classic of Optimus Pine, obviously. I mean, his name's just Chris Pine. It's Chris Pine. He was great in Star Trek. Uh, so we're going to fight this guy. You know, do we need to? We really don't. I mean, it'd be nice to fight a stack of trees, but also it's just going to be a, a bit of a waste of time. Got us a bunch of money, which I'm very happy about. And we don't need, we don't actually need the replenishment because we're about to get fully replenished by standing here. The wrath of nature destroyed. Apparently not enough of wrath. Needed more wrath. What's going on? What's going on here? I'm pretty sure you can activate more than one of these per turn, like per delve, right? Because I'm, I'm sure I've had more than one before. So why didn't that work? Is it because our movement was sort of like it was cheated movement, so the game's a bit confused about it? Or maybe the pop-up's just stuck behind another pop-up. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, let's go with Overwhelming Stampede, because that will immediately help us out, because these guys are really high level now, which is lovely. And Ekugax Karaxus, let's get the Gate of Corn, and then next turn we'll be able to start summoning Bloodthirsters, which is just insane. Uh, so is there... God, there's nothing, huh? What is up with this? I'm, I mean, I'm pretty sure I should be able to get this. It's very odd. Alright, go there and I'll try again next turn, I suppose. Move your lord here and you'll receive a weapon. Yeah, that's what I thought. I think I think that might have glitched. Either that or it, you're literally only supposed to get one per visit. Um, I know I have before, but it, it was pre-release, I'm sure, so uh, it could just be broken. Grease's gold tooth is a bit close to the objective here as well. So we really do need to book it over here so I can stop this guy from completing the survival battle and kicking us out before we can grab the rest of the toys. Which is, um, you know, genuine problem. Genuine, genuine risk there. Uh, okay. Random upgrades. Random upgrade number one. Random upgrade number two. Random upgrade number three. Are they a priority? I think Norskin stuff is probably a priority. Yeah, see that? There's a bunch of stuff we need to level up here. I mean, that doesn't need leveling up. Uh, nope, nothing else there. Nothing else here. Alright, alright. Let's, let's just have a quick shimmy through. Yeah, random income building sounds good. Um, that one, because that gives bonus income in the region. So that'll get us even more money. Excellent. Okay, so I was going to recruit that lord this turn, wasn't I? But then I didn't. We all saw it. We all saw it. Alright, moving on. And the Dark Prince's realm has been entered, but that shouldn't concern us. Uh, we've just got a taint of corn. I mean, we're made of corn. Like, what's your problem? So this, of course, is going to change in, in patch 1.1, 1 .1, um, which still isn't installed, because I don't know when this is coming out, but it doesn't exist yet. Um, but tra uh, patch 1.1 1 .1 is going to make it so your own flavour of Chaos Taint isn't going to corrupt you. So, you know, Scarbrand in Corn's Realm, Kugats in Nurgles, etc. Um, but, you know, I just want these traits to be more interesting. That would be nice. But anyway, uh, Corn, uh, sorry. Corn scent is on you, much to your master's disgust. Sure was. But hey, that's fine, we can live with it. And, uh, setting an example, the Doom Harvesters, really? Okay, cool. I like that. 
Tired of waiting for the next battle, a troop of blood let us storm out of camp. They marauded across the land and then have a hiccup. Slaughtering without discretion, their rage growing with each kill. Ultimately, they turn upon each other. Though none survive, word of their brutal deeds inspires others to similar, <laughs> similar feats. Hang on, wait, what? So, that's what all armies. Did they wipe? No, they, they're still going. None survived, apparently. Okay, that's very confusing, but all armies just got a bunch of bonuses, which is very funny. But yeah, they're still, they're still there somehow. Uh, all right, we're going to go down there because it seems that the Odrick Gauser just has no confidence attacking anything. So we're going to try and get rid of this. Okay, come on. Close the rift. And we'll win that too. Fight Ian. And we're going to go with... Uh, more favor. Good. So, mission issued to get 6,000 income um, at the end of a turn, which if we got rid of that, we can get this next, like, next turn which is fine, though. Do we want this? I mean, I kind of want to finish the mission so we can get given more missions. So we'll try it. Great wealth leads to great power. Leverage the tools at your disposal to gain a substantial income from buildings, trade, and other sources. In an angry way. Because corn. All right, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll, I'll, I'll do it, okay? I'll do it. Just you wait. Uh, okay, that'll do... So, there is another rift over there, but I'm never going to make it. Um, Tower of Crack just got taken by that guy. Which is a pain, you know, not happy about it. Uh, we can upgrade you, which is good. So yeah, these these guys are going to be a pain. Great orthodoxy. We've kind of given them free reign to waltz in. Though, I imagine they're going to butt heads with uh, Norska some more before the day is done. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see, I guess. So yeah, you... Doom Harvesters. I'm going to get rid of now. So, over 6,000 income. Brilliant. And now I think it's time... Oh my god, just all of these could be upgraded. It just helps so much to get this stuff done uh, while our income's good. I think I might delay... I think I might delay getting the recruitment done, just because I know these are expensive and I, I, I need them built. I mean, we get a lot of money just from random loot, but that's fine too. There's so much stuff we need to build. You know? So, yeah. Okay, now I need to go to Hell. Uh, where are you, Hell? Hi, Hell. Hi. Uh, let's see if this works, I guess. It's gonna work this time. It doesn't work. It's just not working. I guess you can only take one. Or is it because we literally have it equipped on Scarborough? Is that why? When I've taken more than one, it's because I didn't have it equipped. I had equipped it on someone else. Because that's entirely possible. So, instead of the Brass Cleaver, let's give you the Chainsword. Alright, and we'll see. Yep, there we go. Now we have Scars, Crack, and Killer. That seems silly. <laughs> that seems a bit weird. So now, yeah, we have the Chainsword and Scars, Crack, and Killer. Which we could then just, we could swap them around if we want. But anyway, um... The skull of the first glowers high above Korn's realm. Some say it was Korn's first kill, a trophy he kept in the sky. Deep within his eye socket is a shard of the weapon that killed the first. Such a blade would surely be one of the greatest in all creation. I'm sure it would. I mean, it's bloody good. Look at that, makes you unbreakable. Extra 250 weapon damage, 20 melee attack. Scars Kraken Killer restores vigor per second and healing, which is very cool. Every every minute and a half anyway cooldown's 120 uh, which is quite a lot how long does it last though it just has the cooldown but it doesn't say how the duration which is odd yeah it doesn't say the duration just that it has a cooldown of, of 120 seconds how weird oh well this blade of scales with a shark skin hilt was born from the deeps by a Norsegan reaver in an age long past awesome alright so, uh, oh, Grease has decided to grab a weapon, did he? Oh, well. I've decided. What happens if I kill him? <clears throat> what happens if I kill him? Does he I die? Die. die? To death. We're going to try and kill him. I don't like the idea of him um, taking anything that should be ours. Also, I do wonder, if you come back to Korn's realm a second time, does he take the weapons back? Because I know if you go into another realm, he does. Maybe if you just come back to visit here, he'll, um... He'll let you keep them. I don't know. I have no idea. But we can always check back later. Because um, worst case scenario, we, you know, it's, it's like coming home to visit family. And uh, then we can just murder a bunch of people. Just like 
just like visiting home to, to see family. It's so weird, these... I was going to just skip through other units, you know, other armies. We don't have any. For once, we actually don't have any other armies. It's really quite peculiar. Um, but oh well. It's all good. But yeah, collecting some weapons. Feels good. Okay, we're being attacked. Pyrrhic victory. Wow, he's got a bear mount and everything. Hey, Kostelton. Uh He's got an elemental bear as well. God. See, now this is very upsetting because... This is an insanely decent force. I mean, it's, all right, mostly Kulsars is a bit crap, but like, it's a big army. There's a bunch of Streltsy here, and there's a bunch of war sleds that are really good. War sleds are fantastic, and we don't have the biggest army. We could auto-resolve this, which we would win, or we could fight it, but like the variety that we get from fighting this, I feel like we kind of have to. We have no answer to the elemental bear, though. So I think we're in a weird position where I think if... Hmm, I mean, I've said this before. I've said this before. I'm sure it'll be fine, right? I'm sure it'll everything will just die. And I'll go, oh, right, yeah. It's bit, like, siege battles are easy. Um, <laughs> but I don't know. I feel like we don't have answers to a lot of this stuff. But I don't know. We'll try it, I guess. We'll do it. Even though we could just auto-resolve. and We're laughing. I'm going to fight it because we haven't fought Kislev yet. And I think it'll be interesting. Okay, very cool. Spider cave. Apparently this whole thing is a Norska cave. Uh, anyway, very cool. I really love this map. Still love it. Still love it. Still love it from last time. And we did absolutely clean up um, in this siege battle last time, but they all attacked in one spot, which made it easy. I got folks everywhere now, including bears. Bears everywhere. So, okay, there's bears everywhere. So let's get a tower here, and I guess there? Is that the next best spot? Maybe here? So we can whittle away these jerks? The annoying problem here is if we split up too much, they're just going to be able to whittle us down with all their ammo. I uh, I kind of need them to be... Um, to, to just sort of get bogged down on each other, ideally. Alright, I think we're going to build another tower here. Because they'll be able to attack over that way and also this way if these guys do push in. Uh, in a big way. That comes from, yes, this point right here. Um, it really is it really is my blood letters I'm most worried about. Just all the missile units can do so well against them. I really don't have an answer for them. Okay, so what we're going to do... Okay, what we're going to do, we're going to get all the blood letters. Alright, going to get all the blood letters. Uh, they are going to kill those guys. There are reinforcements coming in that will actually be pretty bad for them, too. Ah, okay, fine. We'll get attack here with them. We'll try and take on Kostelton early, I suppose. We could kill them, maybe. Either way, I want these guys to just kill, like, a group of people, and then we'll go somewhere else uh, with everyone else. So, okay. Let's start with you there. You there. Uh, you over here, I guess. You over here. You over here. Uh, in fact, let's do a couple over here. And then we have a final one that I can use to bolster somewhere. Uh, yeah, alright. Over here. Okay, all those shields will help us out considerably. Uh, now I have these two. And I have these two. They might take this too quickly with all this stuff, you know? Yeah, this might be a miscalculation. Might be a miscalculation. They're going to be pretty flimsy, though. Alright, you guys are going to help. Okay, you guys are going to help. We'll try and wrap these up in a hurry, and then we can double back up here. Hopefully. Hopefully. Uh, you go over here as well. You can try and help kill Kostelton. Um, I just feel like these guys are going to shoot the crap out of us and we're just going to miss out. A lot. Yeah, we kind of need to go to them, don't we? Alright. Let's go again. Good. So, that's all good and well. Uh, these guys don't know what they're doing. 
Yeah, don't know where they're going. That's perfect. Towers can shoot whatever they like. Perfect. Looks like the white, the 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 white, the light war sleds. I say the white law sleds. Okay, you can start chasing them. Okay, you get stuck in over there. Want to make sure we're in combat so they can't shoot us as much. These guys are ignoring me. That's upsetting, actually. I'm a bit upset by that. Alright, you go chase him down. Uh, something's happened. I don't, don't like it. <laughs> don't like it. Okay, good. We have some folks to summon. And you know what? Taking quite a lot of damage on a blood letters. And yeah, Fury's absolutely crushed it. Absolutely crushed it. Okay, how are things going over here? Uh, actually crushing the shelter, which is fantastic. So those armoured Cossars maybe. You know what, let's just kill these guys because they're easier. Uh, we are never going to catch these ranged units, but I don't think it matters because these towers are doing a fine job. Let's get another tower out for the reinforcements. Uh, amazingly, these guys are doing a terrible job. The bear isn't bothering to attack. So we're actually getting real good value out of our towers. Looks like all these guys are getting wiped out, which is perfect. And Kastelton is getting uh, just cleaned up completely. Although it did look like he killed our lord, so I guess he's not completely cleaned up. And you guys should probably attack the guy. You know. Yeah, Kastelton's getting wrecked. Excellent news. And yeah, you guys have done a good job. Done a very good job. And yeah, you guys are wiping out these guys. Fantastic. Alright, looks like the bear's starting to move, though. Looks like the bear's starting to move. Never good when the bear starts moving. That's what my mother always said. And only now it begins to make sense. Uh, come on, good Stelton. Come on, it'll be great. It'll be wonderful. Alright, 25 more seconds there. I mean, you're doing alright. These towers have a great old time. I mean, these are just the basic towers, but... I mean, they've, they've got it going on. They've got it going on. Uh, right, let's see. Do I chase down something? Yes, I do. Yes, I do take down something. Alright, you go run in there, try and help. You lot, just get into the middle, okay? Just just get into the middle and we'll decide where you're going over here. Don't like these war sleds. Really don't like those war sleds. So how are things going over here now? Kostaltin's still going, but barely. Barely. Don't know where they're going. Oh, still chasing them around. That's going to be forever, actually. That's going to be happening forever. Okay. We have... Excellent. More towers to build. They did finally get through there, but I mean, these guys are getting wrecked by our towers. Uh, that seems to be going really well. That seems to be going really well. Still a giant bear here, but like... When is a bear a giant bear here? Come on, guys. Okay, a lot of uh, Streltsy. Awful lot of Streltsy. Oh no, Kostaltin's still going somehow. The cheeky get. Right, let's, let's just spawn stuff here. Try and kill Kostaltin. It'd be very useful if we did. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Alright, let's buff him as well. Come on. Mess him up. Oh yeah, still going there. Those armor Gossars. God, that armor's keeping him going, huh? Alright, Chaos Warriors, let's get you up here. No, move please. Thank you. And, okay, those Chaos Warriors had a bad day, and I think our Furies got wiped out too, without me noticing. Because I think a bear attacked them? Sounds about right. Always gotta watch out for bear attacks, guys. Gotta watch out for bear attacks. And also, this guy is really, really being a pain. It's, he's been regenerating this whole time, you see? See? I thought we'd be able to finish him off. I mean, that tower's nearly done, and that'll probably kill him, but, you know, I could be annoyed. I could remain annoyed. Actually, that probably wasn't the best spot for it. Should, should, uh, yeah, that one would have been better. Alright, you guys get in here. Alright, units coming up here. Don't think there's time to build that platform, but I'll try. <laughs> oh, they destroyed it. They destroyed them both. They're actually bothering to shoot stuff. 
Oh, that's so disappointing. That is so disappointing. Alright, shoot him, won't you? Come on. If you'll listen. Ooh, and they're going to take that, aren't they? Probably. Uh, okay, you guys somehow getting wrecked by Cossars. Do they breathe fire on you or something? It's a strong possibility. Oh, here's a problem. This is all a problem. We don't really have any towers overlooking the main square. I guess that one, actually. Alright, get stuck in. He's been a pain. Real pain. Alright, go go bog him down, won't you? Uh, I guess I can build another tower there. Or over here again. Let's try it. Unless that's... Come. Nope, that isn't. Okay, good. That's being led by this one. Perfect. Uh, these guys still don't have, just have no idea what they're doing, which is fantastic. Really happy about that. Don't know what the doggos are going to do. By time, I suppose? Go fight this jerk? I mean, we could have auto-resolved this, remember? How sad is that? How sad is that? Could have auto-resolved it. And won easily. One time auto-resolve is like, yeah, you got this dog. <laughs> Don't you worry. Okay, Stelton's in dead. Marvelous. Where are you going? What is your deal? No idea. Um, okay, do I want to try and get on these elemental bears? Oh, it doesn't look like the elemental bears taking much damage from the towers right now. Let's ignore it. <laughs> That's always my plan. Yeah, this is a problem. But this is nearly built, and these guys are so... So... Like, squished together. You're still going, huh? We still have... They're still going. They're still chasing these guys. That's very funny. Alright, so we killed Kostelton. I hate these sleds. Really hate these sleds. They're the worst. Yeah, we are going to lose this place. This had no answer to the sleds or the elemental bear. And all of the ranged units? You know, they just, they'll just keep shooting, you know? Yeah, there we go. It's army losses. Well, good effort, team. Good effort. Should have auto resolved. Thought it'd be more interesting to do a battle. And I was right. It was more interesting. Yeah, the fact they destroyed the towers, I'm quite impressed with. The AI could be really stupid when it comes to actually aiming for those things. But nope, they, they really went for them. And that bought them this entire contingent, basically. If these guys were waltzing in and just ignored the towers and got peppered to bits by them, uh, I think we might have won, actually. I think really this was a big decider. Like, those towers would have helped to no end. But, oh well. Yeah, they took it. They took it all right. Which is bad, because it's forbidden. You know? Can't take it. It's a forbidden citadel. Yeah, they took it alright. I'm genuinely amazed, though. Like, genuine, like genuinely stunned that Auto Resolve actually gave us the benefit of the doubt there. Because, like, usually it is, it is so critical of the player. <laughs> but, like... You know, you have to fight every battle. But yeah, looking at that, I could I could see that it wasn't gonna work out well. Um so yeah, bizarre. Uh Nostral Darmus is nearby as well. I mean he won't be able to defeat any of our garrisons, honestly. Um that's not gonna work so well for him. But hey, we got that successful mission, so we are rolling in money again. Which I should probably use to buy that army. Uh so we're gonna train it here. Because I don't think we can train a high level one here, right? Yeah, only level three. Here, though, level five. Which, okay, isn't that great. How come there's only two options? What? Only two options now for some reason. That's weird. Not sure why there's only two. Uh, Fleet-footed, then, I guess. Nah, no, extra speed's not bad. If we put this guy... Oh, actually, he's going to be a bloodthirster one day. Yeah, okay, we'll just do that. Fleet-footed. Sounds good to me. So let's level you up. Uh, inspiring Presence and Skull Takers. He doesn't actually need to be quick. Oh my god, we can't even get... Um, uh, uh, blood Letters. There. Can't even get Blood Letters. That's really weird to see. Uh, so I can't get a bunch of Warriors of Corn, but I can't be bothered. And 
I'm going to move over here and, uh, and start recruiting abroad. Although, actually, now that I look at it, we don't even have the option there. Jesus. Yeah, that. That should have been the other one. Should have gone with the demon portal instead. Uh, although, I mean... Oh, yeah, because we got that, don't we? We got the Chaos Warriors building. Okay, when that's built, I think we need to buy the Blood Letters building here. As well as, like, some cool stuff. I don't know. But, God, I hadn't even thought about recruitment properly. <laughs> that's pretty funny. Uh, okay, let's go for this one, because income from buildings in the region will go up. And I guess I'll keep building up my garrisons and stuff. I don't know. That'll do. I like the idea of actually getting my uh, capital area built up a bit. Although... Hang on. No, that one was the one. Let's build that and actually look at the recruitment buildings. Because, yeah, I could actually get the, um, the Cornate Califactor. In the intense heat, the Hellblades are forged with the essence of the bloodletter that shall wield it. While high in the rafters, Corn's furies roost. Sounds good. So we'll get that. We'll get that. So I'll get rid of the brass fortifications, uh, which I don't think we've built before, have we? Oh, hang on. That was enough money, even. Jesus. Okay. God. So many buildings are so cheap. Yeah, Cornate Califactor. And also, uh, we hadn't built a brass fortification before. I actually read this. The harsh iron and brass shot defenses of Cornate walls are mounted with cruel barbs, screaming skulls, and intricate to bloody mechanical traps. Awesome. So that's all good and well. Uh, let's go hang out in hell while we wrap up this episode. So here's Scarbrand. Goldtooth is right there. We can definitely go for Goldtooth. So that's really good news. Can't quite reach him. We could have reached him if I'd kept Unholy Manifestation or we hadn't wasted a bunch of movement going back and forth trying to claim a weapon that was unclaimable because we had one in our hand, which is very silly. But anyway, um, we can we can deal with that tomorrow. So guys, if you enjoyed this, comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys.